Okay, so uh, this first image might be a little bit confusing, uh, but we are looking at the Greenworks 25 inch battery powered mower. And I think one of the common problems that you might have with this mower uh, is that if you hit a root, then you might be down to stripping one of these four plastic gears, which time the blades, this is blade on the left, this is blade on the right, this is just a idler gear or transfer gear, I guess we'll call it, and then this one is the actual electric motor. So that one's going to slot down in there. And so this is with the cover off. That's what it looks like. The gear train, which uh, allows the 25 inch mower to operate two blades. Uh, so, uh, uh, there's also, this is the top cover. You can imagine this being turned over. It's battery one, battery two uh, being set on top of this thing. Uh, power electronics unit right here. And so this is basically the guts of the electric motor turning the um, the blades and then the drive motor would be back in there and the drive motor would be back in there with the wheels so um, if you hit a stump you might strip there you go these gears here and I've started to file them down to get them back into shape and hopefully that'll work uh, I guess the alternative could be you pull all this off and it's relatively standard uh, just take the screws out the whole thing comes up um, you do need to pull the motor cap off to get the plastic cover off uh, and then you can get at the the top cover um, which is this thing right here you get at the top cover which the motor bolts into and so its gear is sitting inside of there uh, inside the top cover that's bolted to so, um, hope that's an okay explanation. I'll, I didn't record it while I was taking it apart, but I'll record it a little bit while I'm putting it back together. Maybe that'll help explain some stuff. But uh, yeah, these um, lovely plastic gears are gonna be your weak point when it comes to hitting something solid. In my case, it was a root uh, off a cedar tree that was coming up out of the ground that was mowing a little low. So the root caused the gear to jump and as it jumped it pulled some plastic along with it so I will uh, file that off and there will be a little less tooth engagement but hopefully if I don't attack more roots then it will keep lasting me for more years and uh, I guess suppose every battery powered piece of equipment we, we expect for some programmed obsolescence uh, but I really want to get, you know, five years out of this thing. So I'm on year two now. So it needs to go a little further than this. So stay tuned. And now we're going to get the electric motor first. This top cover back on. Then comes the electric motor. All right, make sure your blades, they are opposite each other. So this is now running horizontal. This one's running vertical. So that's good. And then we screw it back in.
this juncture, and we were locked out, tagged out before. Of course, could have taken the key out as well, but I saw no need to keep the batteries in while I did this. So, that's what we did. It's just plastic covers from here on out. So, I'm going to put a battery in it, and I'm going to start it up and make sure that the blades will actually spin now, that the gears have been filed down. I'll be honest though, it's a noisy bastard. Um, suppose if I wanted to, I could uh, get all new gears from Greenworks. But uh, now that I know how to do this, not the end of the world. And there you have it, back in condition. Um, so one thing that I like about this mower, like I mentioned in my slope mower video, is that it's good on slopes. But now one thing I don't like about it is in order to be a dual blade mower without two motors, they, they use plastic gears in order to accomplish it. So that's a little disappointing. Um, Single blade mowers probably don't have that gearing and thus you're going to be limited by the strength of your blades, which frankly for most purposes are relatively strong. So that is what it is and uh, I'm going to go mow. So cheers.